Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Penguin Tech. Today I'm going to review on the OnePlus 3 or 3T Android Pi 9 and I'm going to show you some of the differences that you see when you migrate from an Android Oreo to Android Pi. Keep in mind that this is still in the beta stage here. It's not an official OS for the OnePlus 3 or 3T but we can expect these changes to remain after the official and stable release of the Android 8. Android 9 Pi 4, OnePlus 3 and 3T. So first of all, you may want to go into community and look for the download link for OnePlus 3T and you can download it using a local update. Now what I'm going to show you is the go into the settings here and then we're going to the about phone here now as you can see here the, the about phone here the interface in here actually changed and now it displays your phone picture and the specs as you can see here this is already at android 9 and the oxygen os version is at 9 now so if we type into this and then tap this you can see this is the android pi now and the security has been updated to April 2019 here. Now as you can see here, there has been subtle changes to the animation here. As you can see, very very subtle changes. As you can see, slow motion here. Expanded and expand and retract the notifications. The home screen, the tab. When you go into men when you open an app, all those subtle changes that make this phone feel fresh and good as new, which is nice for a three years old phone that was released back in 2016. And also notice the change in the view of the recent apps. It's now horizontally, and you need to swipe up to close the apps instead of the the vertically viewed apps in the past, and you need to swipe left or right. To close the apps now as you can see if you have noticed that actually the do not disturb button has actually moved from the alert slider to here and then you can select no visuals or sound from notification or no sound from notifications you can also tap here to go into the settings and now I believe you have more options to change now in the do not disturb mode Talking about the alert slider, here you can see that this is the alert slider here. Now when I now when I move the alert slider, notice one big difference here. One, the animation and the notification that tells you you have changed the mode has changed. And now that this is in the middle but middle position here, you can see that this no longer triggers do not disturb mode and when you go to the top position you're going to silent mode so there's actually three modes here silent vibration which is the new one and the ring mode now this touch is actually nicer because i actually prefer the private only mode which was not available when you used do not disturb besides that you can actually re reply through notification there is a quick reply that you can do like this and then you can click reply tap in your your message here and then click send here but the problem is that once you send the message the notification actually stays on so you might have to swipe it left or right to actually close down the notification maybe some of us prefer the notifications to stay on so that you can reply to the next message but I personally prefer it to remove itself once I have replied the message now as you can see here no, no, the quick setting panel here the design has changed even all the icons has changed now when you switch on the auto rotate mode the icon itself no longer rotates and if you tap here you can go into more settings you can change the user or even add user here or you can tap the pen button here to show more options whereby you can edit your quick panel settings now the setting buttons has also changed which leads you into the settings. Now one cool thing about this Android 9 Pi here is the more is the added functions for buttons and gestures. So we go into gestures here. You you see that there's more options now. Click to mute, three finger screenshot. When I turn it on, it will take a picture. 
as you can see answer calls using gestures by raising the phone to the ear double tap to wait which is a very nice function I mean every one plus has it since Android I don't know 7 or 8 music control which is very nice I'll show you later on open and camera with an all pattern and toggle fast type with a V button now when you open the button here you go into the camera if you tap V you turn on the flash again you turn it off and let me play some music here to show you the motion to stop to, to, to stop a music for example swipe, swipe down with two fingers to play or stop the music and the phone actually vibrates when once you do a gesture now the second nice thing is that you can add more functions to your button now so for example the home button you can long press for all of these functions here or double tap for all of these functions here so aside from the single tap actions here you can add a long press action and double tap action for all three capacity button on the button of your phone which is a nice touch so for example I've set mine to go back to the recent apps for long press or go back just a normal go back go to the settings here double tap go to the here again don't press home button for the assistance and the double tap actually works for split screen function which is very easy now now that you can activate your split screen functions every here everywhere in the phone now and you can adjust the size which is a great touch when you want to watch a video and then reply to someone else at the same time now the next thing I want to show you is the new volume panel here as you can see uh, you, you see the new volume bar and animation now you can go into settings here or you can go here to change your media output the next thing I want to show you is the power button so when you long hold when you hold this power button you will go into this assistant mode but if you don't hold it longer than that and then hold it again you can trigger this power off restart and screenshot function here as you can see the panel here has also changed which is a nice touch now the clock design has also changed here as you as you can see in this image in this app here Also the design for the phone, phone here whereby you can see there's different interface now it's really refreshing to look at and in the camera we have an added function now we have this Google lens here now so if you go into here so for example I might want to search this looks like a pen this is the implementation of the Google Lens into the camera here and so far for the camera quality it remains the same no big improvement here and also the same for the front camera now for this Android Beta 9 here we at OnePlus has also added a new gaming mode 3.0 here which you can see here when you long press it, it will go into the settings here yeah, as you can see there's a lot of settings here you can add your uh, you can add the apps that you want to turn on the gaming mode automatically so in here they have added the text notification mode and added notification for third party calls now so far with this android 9 pi community beta one there has been no lag whatsoever the phone remains very smooth as you can see here the phone's performance remains the same if we run Atun 2 the score is about the same as well which means that it doesn't impact the performance at all the fingerprint is as fast as I demonstrate here 
still as fast as it was the face unlock is still very fast as well and with this new update I have not seen any major change towards the battery life it doesn't extend the battery life nor does it decrease the battery life as well so it's just as good so there's a few bugs that comes with this, with this beta so one of it is the clock timer or the stopwatch interface display is incomplete as you can see here the buttons look outwardly close to each other and there's nothing else to press here in this uh, stopwatch here only very few settings and also the microphone does not work when you plug in the earphones and some crash issues with the native message app so it's not really complete now but this has since been resolved in the community beta 2 update so all in all this is a very welcoming change and the support for a 3 years old phone by oneplus which is very appreciative also they updated the security patch and makes the phone even more secure now and we'll, I'm really looking forward to the release of the official Android 9 Pie for the OnePlus 3 and 3T. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos in the future. Bye bye.